Hi everybody and welcome back. Well, the fine folks at Linux Mint have released another fine release called XFCE, that is Linux Mint 14 Nadia XFCE. We, we will be taking a look at the release candidate and I will be running it inside a virtual box with Ubuntu as the host. So let's dive right in and take a look at Linux Mint 14 Nadia XFCE. All right, well, this is the welcome screen here. Uh, you may have seen this before if you have um, run Linux Mint before. They have a very nice uh, welcome to Linux Mint startup dialog box. It has everything here from a GNOME, from a GNOME problems, user guide, tutorials, forums, chat room. Uh, chat room. This uh, welcome dialog box has been around for as long as I can remember. Very useful if you are coming from Windows or are thinking about uh, installing this as a replacement or maybe as a dual boot and that's what I like to do is to dual boot. Now the one thing I like to do is uh, right click and change wallpaper as I have already but one thing I noticed off the bat as I right click here you have many many options to choose from. Now for this I'll just click uh, desktop settings and you have lots of choices as far as wallpaper. Let me go to the Linux Mint 14 wallpaper here and I'll just keep it there the way it is. The one thing I like too is the panel here at the bottom and the options that the panel bar can give you. One thing that is missing in Ubuntu Unity and the GNOME shell is the ability to right click and add uh, applets or items to your panel bar. In this case, right click, go to panel, add new items, and you can add uh, a short, a shortcut for uh, weather, clock, time and day, dictionary, so on and so forth. You have many choices here. Oh, let's see. Let me just add, what shall we add here? How about if we just add the trash applet, highlight that, click add, and there I have my shortcut. And I was playing with this before, and I actually added two as you can see here. Let me just right click and remove. And all I want is one trash shortcut. I don't I don't plan on having a lot of trash. Anyway, the panel bar here at the bottom, time and date. One thing about this I noticed also as I was playing with this is the ability to choose between 12 and 24 hour format, such as down here. Uh, one thing I've noticed about some lightweight distributions, you have to type in a string, a code to change from the 24 hour to the 12 hour format. But Linux Mint 14 makes it very easy. Moving along to, to the left, my internet connection. Now this is the update manager here. You have to type in a passcode. I just did type OK. And really after installing any installing any uh, operating system you should immediately download the updates reboot if you have to and you should be good to go so once again if you are coming from Windows install your operating system immediately go to the update manager download any updates and then go from there let me just click X for now all right moving along to the left here I have a shortcut for my uh, file manager here now let me just go to music here now this uses, uh, what's this called? It's not Nautilus, it is Thunar File Manager 1.4.0. And of course, I just installed this, so I don't have anything in any of my folders, but I can navigate through this very easily, as you see here. You can click Edit, go down to Preferences, and do some minor tweaking here that you so choose to. And click Close, and click the X here. All right, let's go along all the way left to the menu, start here. Now again, if you're coming from Windows, this should feel extremely familiar, especially if you are using uh, Windows XP or more, or more accurately, probably Windows 2000. Very simple to use. Again, just a left click and navigate through your installed pieces of software here. Everything from settings, accessories, graphics. Now for a lightweight release, this really has uh, enough, I believe, enough pieces of software to help you get started. When I scroll down to multimedia, the one thing I would install is VLC. Now you may ask how to do that. Go to the software manager, type in your passcode. The software manager will load up. Now you have several ways of choosing to install a piece of software. You can go to, uh, since I know VLC has, has to deal with sound and video, I can just click sound and video or I can go to the 
to the search bar there. Type VLC, enter. And double click VLC. Click install. Just wait a little bit and you have instantly installed a free piece of software. By the way, I do recommend VLC for both Linux and Windows. Let's check out one more thing here. Now, one thing I've noticed about this uh, XFCE uh, Linux Mint 14 XFCE is running very smooth and very stable, uh, even inside a virtual box machine. And if I recall the last time I tested Linux Mint XFCE, uh, it ran pretty smooth even back then. We will want to go uh, uh, click blog. And this is where you can get information on all of the Linux Mint releases. I will scroll down to as you see here, Linux Mint 14 Nadia, and this is a release candidate for the XFCE. And you can get more technical information here. Uh, the one thing I did notice, well, two things, this is available for both 32-bit uh, and 64-bit machines. Uh, they do say here that they recommend at least one gig for comfortable usage. So if you have an older machine with say 5, 12 megabytes or RAM, this may not work properly, but for for modern machines it really isn't that big of an issue. So what can I say about Linux Mint uh, 14 X FCE? I think it looks terrific, easy to use, lightweight if you are looking for a simple al alternative to Windows 7 or maybe even Windows 8. You know Windows 8 has a lot of pros and cons. I think Windows 8 is great for uh, tablets, you know, touch screens. It can look good on the desktop with a widescreen monitor. But as far as Linux Mint 14 XFCE, I think XFCE is, um, well, I think, quite frankly, I, I think it's excellent. So take a look and let me know what you guys think. That's my take on Linux Mint XFCE. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.